Welcome to episode 9 of Making Math Visible, brought to you by Math Accelerator Center. This is a video series where we share effective and easy to follow strategies to solve problem sums. Hi everyone, my name is Chris Siu. I'm the Chief Trainer at Math Accelerator Center. Me and my trainers are a group of PSLE Math Turnaround Specialists who has been helping students to achieve breakthrough in their mathematics using our very own score system. To find out more about how we can help your child achieve breakthrough in their performance, do visit our website at www.parkwaymath.com. In this video, we're going to discuss a P4 question. This is based on the topic of whole numbers. It involves the concept of constant difference. The question is extracted from a 2017 P4 SA1 paper. The strategy we're going to use will be model drawing. Let's begin by reading the question. A hat and a dress cost $36. The hat and the blouse cost $20. The dress costs three times more than the price of the blouse. What is the cost of the hat? After reading the question, let's highlight the keywords. The first set of keywords states that a hat and a dress cost $36. The second set of keywords is over here. It states that the hat and the blouse cost $20. The third set of keywords is a comparison. It states that the dress costs three times more than the price of the blouse. After highlighting the keywords, the first step is to organize the information. We're going to start with the last set of keywords, where we know that the dress costs three times more than the price of the blouse. So we're going to draw this set of model. These three units will represent the dress, and this one unit will represent the blouse. And based on the first two sets of keywords, we notice that the hat is a repeated identity between these two comparisons. So we're going to add the hat to the left side of the model. Then we add in the total for the two pairs of items over here. So now we have completed organizing the information. So step two will be to analyze. So we notice that the difference between the first set of model and the second set of model is two units. So the value of these two units will be the difference between $36 and $20. So first we find out the difference between $36 and $20. So based on our calculation, we arrive at $16. So we're going to indicate the information over here. So we also notice that these two units is $16. So next, if two units is $16, so to find one unit, we simply take 16, divide by 2, and we get $8. So now, step 3 will be to solve the question. So we know that the hat and the blouse cost $20. And the blouse is one unit. Therefore, the blouse costs $8. To find the cost of the hat, we simply take 20 minus 8. So based on our calculation, the cost of the hat, which is $20 minus $8, will give us $12. Then we have solved the question, and we find out that the cost of the hat is $12. We have come to the end of this episode. If you have any questions regarding this problem sum, please type it in the comments below. For more information about our program, please visit our website at www.parkwavemath.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.